What is up guys, Jav here and we're back again jumping into some Destiny 2. Now today is Tuesday the 30th of April which is the weekly reset so in this video today we're going to break those down, the activities, the challenges for this week. So if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating on this one that super helps me out but let's jump on in game and see what our challenges and milestones are for this week. So here we are on the director here so as you can see we've got all the new milestones and all that good stuff. So it looks like that the flashpoint for this week is actually over on Mars. Yep, so if you want to head on over to Mars and get those heroic adventures done for your Wayfarer Triumph, then this week is the week to do it. While we're talking about Mars though, with Escalation Protocol, the weapon for this week is the SMG. So again, if you're looking to complete your collections for the Wayfarer Triumph, or and the Wayfarer title rather, then this week is definitely the week to jump on in. Looking at the Vanguard playlist, so we have Arc Singe this week and in for today we have Iron and Grenadier, so those two modifiers rotate day in day out. And then the Nightfalls for this week, we have four this week, so we have Insight Terminus, Strange Terrain, The Hallowed Lair and Savathun Song. So if there's any Strike Pacific loot that you're chasing, then those are the four to go after. Taking a look at Gambit then for this week, we have the Refresh as we see there. Do remember that you do have access to all four maps now. They do rotate uh, through the playlist, so you're not stuck to one map per week. And then for the Reckoning, let's have a look at the modifiers here. So we have Arc Singe, and then we have Blackout and the Grenadier for today. So it's gonna be Arc Singe all week. So if you're chasing the weapons there for the Gambit Prime weapons, then those are the modifiers you'll need to contend with this week. For the Crucible then, so the featured Crucible playlist is Lockdown, so feel free to jump into that and have some fun in Lockdown this week. Iron Banner concluded on the reset, and, but we do have one more Iron Banner before the end of Season 6, so if you're still chasing that Iron Burden Triumph, then you do have one more opportunity to do that. So taking a look at Eververse inventory for this week, so we have two Eververse packages, one's 800 and the other is 700. So we have a mood to party bundle and then we have the spring cleaning bundle which as we can see here has got a jade rabbit ornament which is rather interesting quite a bit different looking at the revelry gear then so we have the perfect swing emote along with the glide dance then we have the i can't even pronounce that not even going to try uh, the mayfly as in the uh, ship this week and the lapine shell which is similar to the rabbit shell that everyone's after except you don't have to pay for that one so that's the revelry one for this week the normal bright dust purchases though we have the chicken dinner emote the four-headed mongrel what's that one for the cerberus one and then we have the taunt dance and all the other good pieces here in the inventory so if there's anything that you're chasing and you have any spare bright dust then head on over and check out the inventory there so checking out Eva Levante, this is the final week that she'll be here. Remember to pop over here and get the weekly revelry bounties. Each one offer a powerful reward for each piece of armor. So if there's any that you're chasing for max power, then make sure to hit them up. And if you want to try yourself at getting some ornaments, then uh, you have the packages there. I haven't got any yet. So checking out the raid bounties for this week. So we have the raid challenges, so we have keep out, and then we also have all for one and one for all, which is for the scourge of the path. So if you're looking for any triumphs that you're trying to complete for the raids, then be sure to head on over to Hawthorne and grab those bounties to get those done. Try and get that Riven's Bane title once and for all, right? And then we have our forgotten friend Ada down here in the basement over in the annex. So remember that she has all the weapon frames available now, all seven. So again, if you're trying to find a specific weapon slot to get max power, make sure you pick up the relevant one in order to do that. And also you can get your ballistic logs from here on the weekly refresh to pick the two weapons that you can chase for this week. And our final visit for this week is the Drifter. Be sure to head on over and pick up your loyalty package. Ooh, transverse steps, I'll take those. I'll check the rolls on those in a sec. You have the power surge bounties if you're catching up. Uh, make sure to pick those up if you are and then you also have the yes sir i'm a closer which is the powerful bounty for this week alongside the helmets if you're trying to get the notorious gear and then finally the normal gambit bounty is also available this week so there's a lot of powerful loot here guys so make sure to give drifter a visit 
So head on over to the Dreaming City this week. It's the first week of the curse. So week one, Petra is located here over in the Strand if you need her. But the actual Ascendant Challenge for this week is in the Bay of Drowned Wishes, which is just behind the landing zone. Uh, I've got some footage of that particular Ascendant Challenge. I'm going to let that play out at the end of the video for you guys. So if you need any help for the challenges and some of the lore pieces, then be sure to stick around and check that out. But that's going to sum up the reset for this week guys i hope you found this video useful if you're new around here and want to see even more destiny 2 content then be sure to hit that subscribe button as well i'm going to jump back into the game just like you guys and i'll catch you all again very soon peace